And what we did was that we came up with a list of things that were really important for choosing a, an appropriate program committee for your regional meeting. One of the things that we had done, because Vicki and I had a joint me um, regional meeting, six and seven, was that what we felt very strongly when choosing um, the track leaders and program um, committee was that we wanted to partner people up with the newbie. And what this did was that it really avoided the click mentality that people have is when you're on a program committee, it's just, it's all of your friends. So we were very conscientious about making sure that we had an experienced program person along with a new, a, a new person. Another thing that was very helpful was establishing written roles and responsibilities. So at, so at any given time, those written roles and responsibilities, the program committee would know what they were responsible for. We had um, conference calls with each of the tracks rather than having one large um, conference call with like 15 people on so that was really beneficial for us we um, sent email updates to the entire committee um, another thing that we had established was a google docs site and this was for storage and email so therefore not one person was being bombarded with multiple emails so we our email address for example was rm kona at Gmail, and so any correspondence was done out of the Gmail site. Another thing, um, number seven, was we had a program committee contact list by tracks and responsibilities. So the entire program committee had the person's name, their address, their phone number, and cell and phone, and email, in email all in one document. Another thing, too, was um, we established timelines right up front so that way everyone would know the time frame um, for when they needed to get things done. One of the things that was extremely beneficial for us was having templates that were already pre-done. So that way when we did meet with the program, um, the prospective program committee members, they didn't really have to think about anything because we had forms and templates for them to start using for recruiting speakers. And another thing too, we made sure that when we chose the correct people to be on a program committee that they were aware of the time commitment that it took. And, so. then, and then they weren't required to actually attend the meeting. We wanted to make sure that they were aware <laughs> Sorry. We wanted to make sure that everyone was aware that we still valued their commitment and their time and their effort and that their involvement was not just based on whether or not they would actually be attending the meeting. So we wanted to make sure everyone was aware of that, especially since our meeting this year was in Hawaii. And so even though everybody wanted to go to Hawaii, not everyone had the backing from their higher up, which is not unusual. Erin, do you turn it What's also nice about this is a lot of people volunteer for committees and they're not really sure what they're volunteering for. Um, you know, so they put their name out there and they said, I, I, you know, I want to be on the committee. What's nice about this is everything's outlined and spelled out before they even make a commitment because there's nothing worse than having somebody commit to something and then they're never on a conference call. So this lets everybody know ahead of time what the responsibilities are so when they make that commitment they can follow through with it.